Don't always just take the highest pre-money valuation for the sake of taking the highest pre-money valuation. It may not be the best partner, and it may set you up for failure in the next round, frankly, or for potentially having to do a flatter or down round financing in the next round. I think you need to look beyond that. I think you really are looking for that partner in the investor who will join the board in all likelihood and who will be there and support the entrepreneur and the founder in those tough times when startups inevitably run into speed bumps. Yes, you optimize for, uh, obviously, the highest you can achieve uh, within, within a reasonable band of your expectations, but it's also important to counterbalance that with, is this investor who's offering this pre-money valuation, is, is this investor someone I want to partner with? Is this someone I'm going to trust, in other words? Is this someone who I can rely on and who will be there and help me you know, realize this company's tremendous potential? So I think you know, it's really important to combine and think about the pre-money valuation in the context of, yes, I'm trying to optimize and get the highest pre-money I can, but I'm also willing to maybe concede a little bit on that pre-money if I'm able to get the investor who's really going to be a true partner, who's someone who I am in sync with, who connects with me and who, who really gets it, who gets us, who gets this company. I think that's important.